guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. I have not done an Abercrombie haul in a hot minute. I think the last time I did one maybe was the fall, maybe the winter. So I think we're due for an Abercrombie try on haul here on this channel. And holy cow, I found so many good pieces for spring and summer. I'm so excited to share them with you. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all the pieces I'm sharing with you guys today down in the description box. Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, Podcast, presets, alpha details, jewelry, camera equipment, all that stuff is always down in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first things first, have to share this beautiful little piece that I'm wearing right now. I actually got it in two colors. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like held up here because it's a little difficult to see it, but it is this beautiful midi dress. I absolutely love the flowy fabric. It's so airy and lightweight and perfect for the spring and summer seasons. This one here is in black and I'm wearing the cream one. And I just love the neckline. It's very, very low cut, a plunging neckline, if you will. But it does have these really cute little ties here. So it makes it a little bit more buttoned up. Not really. I don't know. I think the ties are just really cute and it helps from it not like fully opening. But like I said, it is a midi dress and the fabric is just so lightweight and airy. But it is lined underneath, which is so great. It's actually just like a shorter lining underneath, so it's not fully lined. So all this area right here is just nice and like airy and see-through-ish. Not like crazy. But it's so cute. It definitely reads a spring, a summer. I love the back detail as well. It also has like a plunging V in the back. And I just think it is such a beautiful silhouette. Honestly, both colors are so stunning. I don't even know if I should keep one or if I should keep both because I love them both. I think they're so cute. So way down in the comment section, let me know which color you guys prefer. Next up is a pair of cargo pants that I was so excited about. Okay, so I saw these on the Abercrombie website and I was like, wait, no, I need you immediately. They are these beautiful khaki green colored cargo pants, nice and wide leg, which I love. I have quite a few pairs of cargo pants, but I actually don't have any that are like a drawstring waist, which I think is so cute. What I also love about these is you can have the option to wear them nice and high rise or you can pull them down for a little bit more of like a slouchy low rise fit and they look super cute that way as well. I just love the color too. The pockets are so adorable, just like Reed's Cargo. I love how the pockets on the side are like a different khaki green. And like I said, just a nice high rise fit, wide leg situation. The back also has some pockets here. They're so cute. They're really comfortable on too. It is a little bit more of like a stiff material, kind of that like, what is that word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's kind of that material that you typically see in like men's pants. Oh gosh, what are these called? It's like, like the, I don't know. You guys, my brain is off today. Anyway, they're really cute and comfortable. That's all you need to know. Next up, we have a pair of pants that I did not know I was going to fall as hard as I did until I put them on my body and I, oh my gosh, I just love them. Okay, these are very cute high rise, a pair of like soft pants. Oh, I did get the long length. I don't remember doing that. All right, well, it works. Anyway, just a nice high rise, a pair of soft pants. These are also double lined if I'm not mistaken. Yes, double lined. So they are not see-through, which is great. There is like nothing much to these pants when I'm just holding them, but trust me on, they are so comfortable. I feel so confident in them. I love the silhouette. It is kind of like a um, wide leg. Yeah, I'd say that's wide leg. Drawstring waist with a little tie and you might not be able to see it on camera, but it is like a crinkle type of material, which is just so cute. I love these pants. I think they are adorable and they are definitely going to be a staple for the spring and summer season for me. Like it would be so cute with like a swim top and just like open for like the beach kind of thing. And then you could also dress it up like I did in the try on with that little cute sweater top, which I'll show you in a second. 
but I just fell in love with them. I think they're so cute. I love that you can dress them casually or dress them up with a pair of heels. Adorable. I'm between 5'3 and 5'4 and the long length is like a little bit long on me uh, with sandals, like flat sandals, but I can pull them up super high and they work that way. So I personally really like the long length. Next up, I probably bought every pair of trouser pants from Abercrombie. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm really glad I did because I found the most amazing trouser pants of my life. I'm so excited. Why do I keep saying trouser pants? All I need to say is trousers or pants. Anywho, these I'm in love. I'm in love. I wish there was a better word than even love that meant, you know, more, but truly these pants my life they've got the cutest pleating in the whole wide world i love that there's like double pleating here instead of just one pleat it just like adds so much more to the pant and i feel like they look way more expensive like more high end the material on these is so cute as well they are gray but they've got like a little bit of like i don't know it's not like stripes but it's got like a little more texture than your typical pair of like solid pants so when I initially pulled these out, I was like, no, I was nervous about the little elastic in the back, but honestly, when they fit well and they're like on your body, you cannot even tell that there's any kind of elastic. So I love that piece as well. I got a size 26 because I read reviews on other trousers on Abercrombie's website and everybody's like, they run small, so size up. I actually don't know if this specific pair runs small because I do feel like the 26 is a little bit big on me. So I actually already ordered a size 25. So hopefully they come in soon and I can decide which ones I prefer. But the legs on these are just perfect. These are such a great pair of pants that you can dress up or dress down. I also picked up this gorgeous cream color, which also has that same kind of like texture to the fabric. They are like soft pants, they're really comfortable on. They're not like texture in the sense where it like feels itchy or fuzzy or anything. Just like the actual texture of the fabric. It's very, very difficult to see unless you like look really close up, but just believe me. This pleating is stunning. I love this color as well. I am absolutely head over heels for these trousers, so I hope that Abercrombie lists more colors in this specific style because it's by far my favorite style I have ever tried on, I think ever in life when it comes to trousers, for sure. This is another style of trousers that I bought. I love this green color. I actually bought a pair of trousers from H&M years ago. They were way too small on me sadly, and I've just had them in my closet for the longest time, like maybe I'll fit into them one day, but truthfully, I'm just never going to fit into them. So those are actually going to go up on my Poshmark pretty soon, but I love these. These are so cute. Same kind of thing where it has like a tiny bit of stretch in the waistband, which I think is genius, especially because it's not like over the top kind of elastic where it just looks corny. It's just like the perfect amount of stretch and give. These also have some nice pleating. Oh, I guess these also have like the double pleating, but these have a bit more of like a dramatic effect in the pleating. So I just like them a little bit more, but obviously this color did not come in that style. These are so cute. I still really, really like them, even though they're like not my ultimate <laughs> pair, but I really love the color. I think this color kind of just goes with everything, so you can't go wrong. I also bought this very cute like khaki color, which I think this color is so nice as well, but if I'm being honest, I'm probably going to return these because I ended up liking the style so much more, and I just don't need two colors that are, I mean, they're not that. They look a little different, but just knowing me, I'm gonna gravitate towards these way more when it comes to picking out a pair of pants but i still wanted to show you guys these because i think they're a really nice color if you prefer more of like a traditional beige khaki color maybe this is your jam all right so i wanted to love this next pair of trousers again i got it in two different colors but these are just not for me i don't think i think part of it is the material which i wish is it tensile am i making that up Tensile sounds right, but I don't know if it's right. It's the same type of material as the cargo pants that I showed you guys earlier. Um, so it is more of like that stiff kind of material. 
These are very comfortable as well. Like, that's not my problem with them. I just don't think I like the fabric in this style. I love, love, love the pleating. That is one thing that I am obsessed with. I think the pleating here is so cool, so sophisticated. Like I mentioned about that first pair of trousers that I showed you guys, I just feel like they feel very high end, like as it relates to the style. These are more of like a wide, wide leg. Um, than the other pairs, but first of all, they're just too big on me. I got a size 26. I'm normally a size 25 at Abercrombie. I might need to size down to even like a 24. These are just too big. If you are wanting more of like a slouchy, low to mid-rise fit, I think going up a size would work, but I just am not like wild enough about them. I mean, I like this color a lot. It might just be another one of those pants where I have to like try it on with a bunch of different outfits just to see how I feel. But I also got that same kind of cream color and same thing. Like I just fell in love with that first pair of trousers that I just know I will not grab these. But these actually would have been perfect <laughs> for when I was going to private school. We had to wear pants that were like this type of material and I would have died like nowadays if I was in high school and I could wear this pair of pants to school. Like I would be so pumped. But alas, I don't think I've ever used that word before. <laughs> alas. They're gonna go back. Couldn't do an Abercrombie haul without a pair of jeans. I've been seeing this medium wash everywhere and I thought it's time that I like just actually try it out. So I picked up the 90s relaxed jean high rise in the curve love. I, you guys, I'm still like puzzled over what style I need like as far as like curve love or the regular from Abercrombie I never know I think the last time I like talked about this on my channel someone was like okay I think you're a 24 in curve love well these are too tight in the waist on me not like to the point where I'm like being squeezed to death but they're not comfortable somebody please tell me if you have this pair of jeans if they do loosen that might just be like something I have to do, like wear them around the house all day to see if they kind of like give in the waist. But I will say, I love the style. I think they're so cute. This relaxed jean, like the 90s version, is just like right up my alley. I love this type of look. I think the wash is really cute too. Again, it's another pair that I'm just gonna have to like try them on in the house with a bunch of different types of tops just to see if I am in love because I'm so used to wearing like light wash jeans or black jeans. So this is just like not in my wheelhouse typically. Ran out of breath there. They have some slight distressing on the pockets and just kind of like throughout. I think they're such a cute, like worn in looking pair of jeans, um, but I'm definitely gonna need a 25, I think. I think, somebody please tell me. All right, moving on to tops. I found some tops that I'm really excited about. I already ordered this top here in two other colors because I just thought it was the most perfect tank top I've ever tried on in my life. So this is their soft ANF Essentials little tank. It is cropped, but I'm telling you, it is the perfect crop I've ever tried on in my life. And that's because it hits perfectly, like right, like I think right above the belly button. Now I can't even remember, but I'm pretty sure it hits like right above the belly button, like right where you want your high rise pants or your jeans to hit. I cannot talk today, I'm like out of breath because I'm just like too excited or something, so calm down. Anyway, this is just the perfect length. I love the length and I'm telling you, I can sleep in this little tank here. It is so comfortable. It's like the perfect amount of stretch, but it doesn't look cheesy. It looks like one of those ribbed tanks that is just like perfectly formed to your body. like. Almost like that kind of like vintage look, but it's super, super soft and super stretchy, which I love. I love the scoop neck. It's like perfect how it hits. It's got a slight little racer back to it. I already ordered this in white and black as well. This is like a really cool kind of like heathered gray color. I don't have anything that color, so I'm so pumped. It's such a cute top. 10 out of 10, recommend. All right, I pulled this out of the packaging and I was like, mm. I don't think I'm gonna like that. 
And then I put it on and I was like, wait, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. So this is a little sweater tank, which I live in Arizona. Maybe doesn't make as much sense that it's like sweater material, but I don't care. I will sweat in the name of fashion because I think it's cute. So it's a nice high neck little sweater. It's actually kind of like gives sweater vest vibes in a sense, but you can wear it on its own. It does have like a plunging kind of armhole. Is there a cuter way to say that? I don't know. But thankfully it's not so plunging that I can wear a bra and it like doesn't show or anything. Abercrombie just has their silhouettes figured out to a T, I swear. It's super soft as well. I love this cream color. And it does have a little shark bite hem at the bottom. So it is a full length tank, which is really nice because you can wear it with like a pair of low rise shorts or something, but it looks a super cute, like tucked up into your bra as well. So I am so excited about this little tank. It looks so cute with those black soft pants. Like that's what really did it for me. I tried it on with those pants and I was like, I'm giving this, there's no way I can't. Like I, I have to have this tank. It's amazing. All right, next up is this cute little bodysuit it's another like sweater material which again doesn't make much sense but i think it is such a beautiful silhouette it has a little sweetheart neckline and then these nice thick straps actually just crisscross in the back so cute it is a thong bodysuit which is the only option for me most times like i i have to have a thong bodysuit and it does have snaps which is great are any bodysuits like not thong bodysuits with snaps anymore? I don't know. I think the fashion people are finally listening to us that that's just the situation we need. Anyway, it is kind of like a cable knit material. So it's a really nice pattern in the sweater material. It's a really cute bodysuit. I can wear it without a bra. So that's really nice as well. Next up is a little top that I don't know. There's like moments where I'm like, this is so cute. And then other moments where I'm like, but I don't know. Anyway, this is just a little sweater top. It's kind of like crocheted material. I fell in love with that on the website because I thought it was like such a cool silhouette. It is like a plunging neckline, not like so plunging, but the sweater here like on the boobage area is fully like not see-through or anything, but everywhere else it is see-through, which I thought was just such a cute detail honestly on me i'm just like not wild i don't know if i need to go down a size just to like an extra extra small and that would like solve everything for me but i'm not wild so most likely it's going back lastly for tops i picked up this very cute very very comfortable little cropped hoodie actually it's like a cropped hoodie zip up jacket thing i have the one from aritzia that i shared in my birthday haul i think that's what i called it something like that i wear that one constantly so i was like i need another cropped zip up hoodie and i was hoping this one from abercrombie would be it it's so soft i will say that it's very very comfortable i really like the color it's kind of like this beautiful cream color cute little hoodie I did get a size large because I wanted it to feel a little bit more oversized. Um, I will say I'm just not wild. I think mainly because of the elastic here on the bottom. I wish it was just more like a straight kind of look. Not this like, I don't know. I just don't like elastic when it looks like this for some reason. It's got pockets in the front and the back is just plain, but it's going back. I don't love, I'm sorry. Last up is a dress that I unfortunately do not love. I thought it was the same material for a second as the pants that I'm obsessed with, but thankfully it's not. I think this material, I don't know, there's something about it that just makes me feel like it's gonna snag on everything, which is kind of heartbreaking because I do think it's a cute dress in theory. It's just not for me. There's just something about it that I'm just not wild about. It has this really cute like plunging V neckline and it also has this little tie here and it'll kind of cinch up the bodice here, which I thought was a cool detail. It's just like a baby doll. Honestly, I'm just not wild. It's just like not doing enough for me. And I feel like this fabric is gonna snag on anything and everything. It does have pockets, which is cute. 
I always appreciate a pocket. I didn't mention that about this dress. It has pockets in the side. I love a pocket in a dress, but unlike this dress, which I love, it's just not doing enough for me. Apologies. All right, you guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Abercrombie haul. Let me know in the comment section which piece is your favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.